Hey guys, I'm here with my banana pie. It might look like a raspberry pie, but it is not. It is a, a banana pie. And I just happened to have received in the mail the banana pie case. Now, you guys have probably seen a couple of my raspberry pie case reviews. And so I thought what I'd do is do uh, not just an unboxing, but a uh, quick time lapse of me putting this together. See, uh, see basically how it goes. Just before I dive too far into this, uh, I just want to show off a bit. This is the uh, top and bottom, uh, the side panels, and the front and back panels. Uh, the front and back panels, one major distinction that you'll notice straight away from the Raspberry Pi is the uh, reset and on-off button switches that are available on the front there. Anyways, let's, let's get to it. All right, so just as I put the last screw in here, the first thing to say is that this is a permanent case. This case is intended to uh, be on and be forever. And I say that because now that I've put these screws in, I'm to put these feet on, and these feet will cover the screws, and that pretty much locks me in uh, to this design uh, forevermore. Uh, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna do it for two reasons. One, if I don't like the case, I'm just gonna chuck it away. And two, um, this helps emphasize uh, a point that I've made in the past about Raspberry Pi cases. And this last foot, of course, is proving difficult. There we go. Last foot. Now that is that, and then two of these drawers on top, like that, like that. Cool. It's a nice, uh, I am a big fan of 3M, and this is 3M sticky, that is stuck there. Okay, just a quick little cleanup. Okay, first let's say this actually was very useful. I followed the instructions and I got a perfect result. Uh, instructions, not always included with uh, cases for these little devices. Not always required, but in this case, required and necessary. Um, the other thing to mention is uh, these uh, plastic side panels, when I was putting them on, uh, they do feel a bit uh, flimsy and they had warped a little bit out of place, but you can see the cases actually pulled them the right way. Now, the way I work, I always think that all of the ports should be accessible from the case to the machine. And I can say that is mostly true, but I've found a failing and I just wonder, I wonder why. But let's talk about that in a second. Uh, there's a couple of bits here. Okay, first we have this side panel access to our uh, eSATA, our eSATA port, our power, HDMI, the uh, LAN, the two USBs, and there's our infrared port. I was wondering if that was gonna be accessible. It's a little bit recessed in there. I wonder how well it works now that it's in there. Uh, the next is our audio jack, and there's something missing here. There should be a hole right there because that's where the microphone is located, just on the other side of this board. And then we're on to the AV video. And then, as we said, there's the power, there's the reset. They're actually labeled. I don't know if you can quite see that, but that actually says power and reset, so now I won't get confused. And this is uh, the USB OTG. On the top, of course, we have access to all of the uh, pins for the GPIO, and we actually have access to the two ribbons, uh, which is in contrast to any of the cases that we found uh, on the Raspberry Pi. So that's actually a nice, uh, nice little workaround there. I, I do like it. I am just disappointed that you can't there's no clear access to the mic. What a, what a silly design. You almost had it. You almost had the perfect case here. You know, these panels make it easy and accessible, and you, you almost had it. 
The truth is my next project is probably going to be XBMC on this thing, so I don't know how much I really care about the mic anyways, but it would have been nice. Who knows, maybe I would have had a, a mic project where I would have voice commanded my XBMC, or soon to be called Cody. You know, it's a, it's a good case. I'm going to say it's a very good case. Unfortunately, it also falls short of the standard because I can't get that mic. Well, there you have it. A beautiful, almost perfect banana pie case. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you have one of these cases? What do you think about it? Do you have a different case that's better than this? Let me know in the comment section below. Of course, I'm always interested in your projects. If you have any banana pie projects that you are uh, recently been up to, uh, want to share them in the comment section below, please do. Of course, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my videos. Uh, it's free, and you get to find out the latest stuff that I'm up to, uh, no matter what it is. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, it's helped save you money uh, by either helping you buy uh, the right case, whether that's this one or another one. Don't forget, you can always buy me a coffee. Uh, I do appreciate that. Uh, it does... Uh, it does give me quite a bit of motivation, let's be honest. Well, you can check out my other banana pie projects. Don't forget to, to come back soon. Thanks again.